Hey, it's Birdman for Birdman on the Mountain, and it's time for a Pine Top Lakeside Community Shout, hanging out here in my uh, studio, right in the rear of the Pine Top Lakeside Chamber of Commerce. With me today, I've got Melina Spellman. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. So you've got this Giga One shirt on. Yes. What the heck's going on? So we're doing our t-shirt promotion again. Okay. And we do that pretty much every summer and throughout the year. It, what it is, is it's $50 and provide us with three t-shirts and we wear your t-shirt on one day each week for a month. Very cool. So yesterday we wore, which was Monday, we wore Distinctive Auto Body. Okay. Today we got Cable One. Tomorrow, Wednesday, we have The House. And then on Friday, we have Spider Trainers. Very cool. So, so you got an additional plug. Yeah. All for that. Those, those folks have jumped in. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, um, how have things been going here as far as the chamber? They're business? good. Yeah? It's the, You know, we still are in our busy season. We still are getting a lot of visitors coming up, enjoying our beautiful weather because it's still hot in the valley. So yeah, it is. Um, yeah. So, and we're gearing up for fall festival and, and actually our tequila tasting awesome. on Sunday. So, so on average, how many people do you think come in the building uh, per week or... I would say per week, probably between 75 and 100. That's a lot of people. Yeah. yeah. It's a decent amount. Cool. So especially, and that changes in the winter, you know, it obviously slows down, but during the summer, yeah. Okay. Now, tequila tasting. Yes. So on Sunday at noon, we have our tequila tasting at El Rancho and uh, it's $45 per ticket or $75 for a couple. And it's seven courses of tequila with appetizers. And those appetizers are not necessarily El Rancho or Mexican food. Um, so we have salt, El Rancho, and my sister can't cook catering doing appetizer rounds that match up with those tequilas. Right. So um, lots of fun, lots of good tequila. And I believe four or five of those tequilas are Arizona tequilas. Oh, nice. Yeah. So, cool. Yeah. From Three Amigos, Three Wells. Yeah, Three um, Amigos. I was trying. I was doing a tasting the other day with uh, one of the yes. reserve ones. Ramona's Reserve is what it is, and uh, wow, it's. Uh, and I did a bunch of people, and they didn't did the tequila face thing. So, oh yeah, yeah. see yeah, that's, check that out. That's good tequila then. Very cool. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to talk about something that's a little more sombering. Um, something happened, of course, over the last mm -hmm. week. This show's pretty, this is significant to me because one of the very first episodes I did for Birdman on the Mountain was with Bob and Linda Gates uh, talking about the Run to the Pine show, and it was the 31st annual at that time. Uh, of course, covered the 32nd and 33rd. Uh, those, those banners are over there on my wall. They're signed by Bob. Um, I was getting ready to do the 34th annual pre-show, and uh, Bob ended up going into the hospital. Yeah. Um, and unfortunately, we lost him. As of last week. Yeah. So uh, it's it's one of those things that uh, it's going to dramatically change uh, some things on the mountain. Absolutely. Because uh, he was the running force behind the show. Uh, I've not seen Linda since. Uh, just a hearts and your prayer to her. I mean, it's, it's uh, just, yeah. I can't imagine losing your spouse. So, um, you know, that's, that's going to be going on Wednesday. Uh, which will be after, before this show airs, and then the, the funeral's on Thursday. Yes, 1 p.m. at um, First Baptist in Pine Top. Yeah, so um, if you want to pay your respects, uh, that would be either either the viewing time, which you'll miss by the show, but the the, the uh, funeral. Uh, and certainly, I'm sure anybody that's up here, you're going to have already known that information. So uh, just, just one of those things, uh, it's, it's the turning of the page. We're moving into the next step of things. Um, and, uh, you know, life will go on, but, uh, he will certainly be missed. Absolutely. It's going to leave a big hole in our community and, and lots of people's hearts too. Yeah. And you know, one of the things about the chamber here is, is I would, he would come here frequently mm -hmm. all the time and always happy and always cheerful and, uh, you know, looking forward to the next car show kind yeah. of thing. <laughs> yes. So, uh, I got to believe that he's going to be driving his car onto the ultimate car show up there in heaven. Absolutely. Everything will be perfect and sparkling. Oh yeah. Cool. Uh, anything else that you've got? Um, well, we've got Fall Festival coming up, so we have our artisan applications here, and don't have any limit on artisans, so if you're interested, you know, come on by the chamber. Uh, we also have our Fall Festival parade applications. This year, the theme is Great American Educators. Great American Educators. So, yeah. Wow. And then uh, that's, of course, all up there at the, uh, the, the Fall Festival is at the Charlie Clark's Orchard. Yes, yes, it is. And we'll have entertainment all day and each day, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So love to have you guys come out. 
Yeah, it was funny because they had a couple of people up from the valley this weekend for the hangar dance, and they were like going, oh, yeah, we're going to go to the Apple thing. And we're all looking at you going, Apple what? thing? What are you talking about? What said Apple? I'm like, yeah, I think it said Orchard. Yeah. You put in Apple. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, Fall Festival. Cool. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you, Melania, for your Thank time. Thank you. Hey, uh, that's going to be it for this episode of the Pine Top Lakeside Community Shout right here from the P Birdman Media Studio at the Pine Top Lakeside Chamber of Commerce. I'm Birdman reminding you, if I don't see you around town, I'll catch you right here on the web.